Hey guys, it's Harry Styles Heather as I'm here for Camry's one month update and my one month postpartum update. I'm just going to go ahead and do them both together. I don't feel like I have too much more to say about me and then as far as talking about breastfeeding, it kind of goes with Camry's update and my update. So yeah, I just thought I'd start putting those up together because I have so many videos already as far as to keep up with our daily vlogs and a stuff for a nursery tour to put up and do like a newborn must-haves essentials kind of like I did with the breastfeeding one like helpful videos so um just things like that I want to try to get to those kind of videos also so I'm just like decided I'll just go and put this together but anyway so Camry will be here in a little bit I'll come show you guys to her but she is actually in her swing taking her nap now and I finally got her down taking a nap so that I could do this video and get ready and do this video. I'm actually I'm about to go to the doctor to check out on my C-section. So I'll kind of let you know. Put a little clip probably at the end of this video. I'm just, you know, getting it checked out and everything. So I'll show you what it's looking like again. I know I mentioned before about it maybe being like infected or something. <laughs> Hoping and praying. I'm finally like, it's been three weeks since it all started. So I was like, I finally am going to get, go get the doctor to check it out. Just make sure everything is okay. I feel like it's hopefully just, hopefully it's on the well side and it's healing now and it's going to be getting better, but I'll also talk about it in the daily vlogs and kind of let y'all know what's up now. So, well, I first want to start with Camry and then talk about my stuff, so let me get back to Camry. So, Camry is one month old. She's actually exactly five weeks old, guys. So, she's five weeks, about a month old. Uh, I just can't believe it. Like, that's crazy. How, how is she already a month old? Like what if before i know it it's gonna be a few more weeks it's gonna be two months old two months old that's craziness crazy because i feel like we just stay so busy and before i know it she's gonna be walking around and it's just like and i just want to enjoy every single minute in case she, if she is our last one i'm like oh, i just want to enjoy this baby stage and i love breastfeeding and breastfeeding is going so amazing this time I just love it, and I hope, I hope, hope, hope they can keep it up and do it as long as possible. It's just like, it really is hard work. It's keep up with all my YouTube stuff. I'm trying to um, get back to work at the hair salon, and probably a few more weeks that I'm just kind of like part time, just kind of in and out a little bit. But before I know, it, it's gonna be holidays, and it's gonna get really busy, and I'm just gonna try so hard to push through. But each time when I get back to work at the salon, I get busy. It's just so hard to keep up with breastfeeding. I'm like so determined this time that I'm that's what I'm gonna do so I really really hope that I can keep up with it it's going really well so as far as like her schedule and eating breastfeeding and all that she is doing really good lately like this since we've hit the one month mark I feel like she's really like come alive like because before she just eat and sleep not really stay awake not really even cry that much she just kind of grunt and let me know that she was ready to eat but now she started when she wakes up she starts Ryan letting me know that she's ready to eat. She's eating, starting to get on a really good schedule of when she wants to eat and sometimes she kind of stays awake a little bit here and there, mostly in the afternoon, but like usually, say we get up in the morning, um, she wakes up anywhere from 6, 7, 8, um, depending on, I feel like if she kind of hears the girls up or not. So yeah, so depending on that, then she usually kind of starts her eating every three hours. Um, lately, she's really been eating every three hours on the dot almost three and a half maybe four hours sometimes usually she'll take her long stretch of sleep when she gets her last feeding for bedtime that's usually around um 9 10 11 just however it ends up her schedule going for the day um so whenever she goes to sleep then and usually it doesn't matter if it's 9 10 or 11 she usually wakes up at three or four um in the night but i usually try to go to bed after i feed her that time at 9 10 11 so that i can get that five usually four or five stretch of sleep so try to do that and then when she gets up um therefore then it just kind of depends how much longer she'll sleep till seven eight in the morning usually and then that just kind of starts off her day um she's eating so when i breastfeed her she's eating usually like 20 30 minutes but randomly she will literally eat almost an hour um and i just enjoy it i just love relaxing there letting her eat as long as she would like to and that's what we do. Um, when I am at the salon now and she stays with my grandma a little bit, I am pumping and I only pump like 10, 15 minutes because usually um, before, usually within like 
three-ish hours she's ready to eat again. So whichever one that she starts eating on again, I don't want it to be like I pumped out so much that she doesn't have enough to eat for that feeding. So I try just to pump out, um, and usually it's around two ounces, but I let my grandma give her about three ounces. So that's how she's doing right now. Oh, I hear her. I might have to bring her in here. Let me go get her. Okay, so she just kind of cried out. I checked on her and gave her a so she might go back to sleep for a little bit longer. She does that sometimes also. That's another thing. She will do a little cry out like that and go right back to sleep. Like, and I'll be like, oh, like rush over to her. Is she ready? And then just goes back to sleep. I don't know. She just kind of does. I guess she's just kind of getting situated and goes back to sleep for a little. We will be going to her two month update, like the day that she's two months. And I'll do a two month update like right around then. And I'll tell you, I'm so curious to get to that one just to see how much weight she's gained. But if you see my daily vlogs, I talk about her. I feel like she started to gain weight at one month also. I feel like this one month mark is a lot of changes from newborn to being one month. Because I feel like now when I like pick her up, she was a little bit heavier. And when I buckle her in the car seat, I feel like she's starting to gain a little bit of weight. And her features are starting to get a little bit more prominent. Her hair is still really dark. One thing I notice is different about Camry than the girls is her hair is really dark. And everybody's like, I wonder if her hair is going to stay dark. And one of my clients is like, well, if her eyebrows are dark, her eyelashes are dark, or her hair on her skin is dark, then more than likely her hair is going to stay dark. But if it's lighter, then it'll probably get lighter. Well, I've noticed before now that her hair, she has little baby hairs that come down all the way down her forehead to her eyebrows. And they're so dark. She has dark um, hairs all around her ears and her skin on her arms. And her legs are really dark and her eyebrows are really dark. But I feel like her hair might stay dark. I don't know because all of those things are just, she's just such a like a little hair baby. She's like all these little hairs on her and it's just different. Like the girls, I feel like I remember theirs being lighter. Kinsley's had like reddishy blonde hair and then hers is a little bit blonder than Claire's. But Claire's was really dark like Camry's, but hers is lighter now. Um, but I don't remember her being like really hairy all over like Camry's so. There's no telling. I feel like I have totally, three totally different girls, for sure. Kinsley and Claire are so opposites. And Camry, I feel like she looks a lot like Claire as a baby, but her, the way she acts and her schedule and things like that reminds me so much of what Kinsley used to do and like put, keeping her hands up around her face and just, just waking up once a night, like pretty much from the beginning. Like I remember Kinsley doing that and she did that for a long time time. So I feel like I'm probably going to be doing this a long time with Cameron. Um, Claire, I remember her waking up more often as a newborn, but by like two months, she was sleeping through the night. Like if she would wake up through the night, I could give her a passy and she'd go right back to sleep a lot of times. She'd sleep a longer stretch at night sooner. So I don't know what she's going to do for sure, but right now she's doing like how can it, but. but yeah, so her clothes sizes, she's still in newborn stuff at one month. She's not into zero to three. My grandma changed her clothes um, when she had her the other day and grabbed a zero to three month outfit. And that onesie was so big on her. I was like, oh my goodness. I was just laughing because I was like, I can't believe this. Because the girls, when they were eight pounds born, when they were born, by one month, they were, or no, by two months, they were already 10 months, I mean, 10 pounds. So out of newborn diapers like right away we still have a lot of newborn diapers used which i'm sure she'll be able to use them lead to friends and family and all and we're also having her shower this weekend finally her sprinkle shower just to get more like little just get her a few little gifts and celebrate her and um just any kind of like diapers or wipes you know that the girls they were in zero to three months and size one diaper it's like i feel like right away especially about one two months and i feel like camry's gonna still be a newborn stuff probably at two months so we'll see she's just my little baby and i still just can't believe she came early and now i mean this is literally her due date at her at one month old she this was her due date when she was supposed to be here and i think she's already been here for a month it's so crazy but i just love it Love it, love it, love it. I love having that we have now a summer baby, a winter baby, and a fall baby. And somebody had commented we need a spring baby, but I don't know about that. But it's like, that's so crazy. She's doing great, like when she does go with me into the salon. I try to make sure that my mom's there, or Joel can help, or somebody can help me. 
um, just in case, because her schedule right now is so like, she might eat, she might, when she eats, she might stay awake a little bit and then sleep, or she may eat and then go right to sleep, and then I don't know for sure what time she's going to wake up, don't want to eat again, so I just try to make sure somebody is there, um, just in case if she wakes up early, or she gets hungry, or, um, you know, or needs to be rocked to sleep, you know, that kind of thing, so I just try to, um, I try to schedule her on when she's going to eat, but sometimes that's hard to do. And so, like, say if I have an appointment and it's when she's supposed to eat, like, it, and it's been, like, three hours, I'll try to go ahead and wake her up and feed her before a little bit just so that she'll be good through that appointment, if that makes sense. I, because she had stuff in her eye like Claire's did that was coming out, and it's gotten a lot better. Like, it just does it randomly. It's not, like, every morning now that there's stuff in her eye. It's, and throughout the day, it's just kind of random just a little bit. So, that's good. I think that's getting a lot better. She smells a lot in her sleep. Usually, like, right after she eats, if I'm just, like, holding her, she just smiles away. She's so smiley. And I have a video. I'll try to post it here. And it's so cute. I love little baby smiles after they eat and everything. So, let me go get her, I feel like. This Camry. I feel like you probably can see her even better in the daily vlog. She's being a little... But I don't think she's wanting to go back to sleep. But I just wanted to show y'all for her one look what she is looking like. Hey guys. Hey. Hey. Oh, she weedy. A baby girls. I mean, her hair is just saying so dark. So I don't know. So cool if I had one with dark hair. That would be fun. A little bit bigger, huh? Yeah, so I wanted to show y'all my c-section again for my update and just let you guys look at it now i go to the doctor today so i'll give you guys an update on that but i wanted to show you before i go because i feel like it's looking a lot better so we'll see what they say a lot better I want it to just be done and be healed already but it's definitely looking better than before if you guys saw it before like more so there so i'm gonna go head out here i hope you have a great day thanks so much for watching i'll be back here for her two month update or if you want to check out daily vlog subscribe comment like and we'll see you soon have a great day bye